What's up outdoorsman Greg here and today we're making a knee cushion for tree saddle hunting. So we're here in Kansas. You can see all this nonsense in the back of the truck. And uh, old, old Spoonie here, old Skittles here, he tethered in turn, Caden's running the camera. He decided that he needed some knee support for the tree. So we went to Walmart, we picked up one of these little tree seat cushions. This one's good because it's doubled up. See this, it's got two layers glued together. When I made mine first one, like, I don't know, four or five years ago, I bought a thin one and then I glued them together. Well, they already did that for me. It's already glued together. So we're gonna cut this in half and make a knee cushion. It's super easy. All you need is a knee cushion. You need a file or a Dremel. You need some zip ties and you need a couple of uh, bungee cords. And you gotta bend the bungee cord out. I don't know if you can see that, the hook. You gotta get the metal hook because it hooks into the bark of the tree, super important. And I just bent it out. It was straight, bent it out, super simple. That's all you need. First thing we're gonna do is cut it in half. It's very important to measure everything very precisely. Just like that. Now you have two knee pads. The next thing you're going to do is the hard part. You got to sharpen these hooks. Uh, I used a Dremel, but since we're here in Kansas, I don't have it. So this is the hardest part of the whole project. But all you do is you just you just take your hook and your file, and you hand that to the intern. And you say, hey, sharpen those hooks. So old Spoonie did a good job. Those are pretty sharp. You want them pretty sharp because if it's a really hard bark tree, you know, it doesn't have to be like fish hook sharp, but sharp enough to where you feel like it would stick in the bark pretty easily so then the last part is pretty self-explanatory you just bungee hook that joker on here or zip tie rather and it doesn't have to be super super uh tight or anything just kind of keep it there in place there you go you got a knee cushion and in storage mode you just pop them in the bottom, like so, protect your pack, then when you get to the tree, pop it off, put it against the tree, hold it like that with your knee when you're in the sitting position, and then hook it into the bark. That's it. And then the, the bungee cord, the pressure of the bungee cord holds it on the tree. I've been using this for years, like literally years. Now if you don't want to make one, you can get one from Tethered. Tethered sells these. Um, a little bit better than this, but this works. I've been using it for years. Sweet, thank you. Then you can use the other one. So I'll just cut a hole in this. Put your hole there. And put the other one on there. Piece of cake. There you go for like, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks. Something like that, yeah. 10, 15 bucks, you got uh, your bungee cords and we gotta sharpen the, these still, but. There you go, you got two knee pads and they'll uh, they'll last you about two or three years. Sweet, thank you. That's all she wrote, that's how you make a knee pad. If you don't wanna make one, go buy one from Tether. Tether's pretty cool. <laughs>